Hey yo guys and welcome back. Tonight we're going to be looking at something that's uh, gotten quite a bit of traction over the past, I want to say, week or so, maybe a little bit longer, and I found one, an Aquos Apophix. Um, I've actually already unboxed this because a friend of mine wanted to check it out and see what its stats were and whatnot for his deck, so we're going to go ahead and uh, reopen this since it's already been opened and uh, take a look at the stats and stuff for you guys. So, yeah, I just haphazardly put this box back together, but we'll go ahead and show off the figure for the sake of the video. Here it is, Aquos Apophix. It has a lot of manual parts. It's a really, really cool mold, actually. I'm pretty impressed. Uh, I'd say my only gripe is probably the lack of paint on the face it's like super detailed but there's not a lot of paint anywhere the uh the underside of the head is kind of cool though black and orange they use a lot of black on this uh this mold actually we've got these two these are some odd manual parts that kind of stick out and they're kind of hard to get open there we go it's tail splits and this thing just looks so, so cool. It stands up really tall, too. Let's see if I can... There we go. Yeah, this thing is about the size of a standard card. Yeah, it's pretty It's pretty large. So, let's go ahead and get into the, uh, the cards now that I've actually, you know, just pulled them out. Uh, let's go with the character card first. Let's get this in frame. Nice. Apophix Ultra Double Magic Shield. This is kind of what's been uh, getting some traction. This Bakugan is actually pretty decent. It's got a lot of damage. It's got a decent amount of B-Power. And the card, oh, the card that it comes with is really good. Uh, Aquos Chaos. You need to run both of those to use this card. Echo Search. It has Scan which is you look at the top card of your deck, you can either keep it there or put it on the bottom, draw, so you can choose to draw that card, and then do it again. You could scan again. So at one cost, this thing is absurd. This is super good. And the icing on the cake. Double magic shields. It comes with a... 600 and 650 core so this thing is super super good if you happen to see this in the wild absolutely pick it up okay this is uh also i totally forgot to mention this this thing can double core like super super easy it likes to spring open like this <laughs> oh and it's gonna make a liar out of me I swear. I swear. There we go. Okay. So. <laughs> okay, maybe it doesn't double core as easily as I thought, but if it's offset, if it's offset like this, where, uh, sorry, I gotta get the angle on it. <laughs> if it's offset like this a little bit, it, you usually will get two cores, but it can land more upright like this. And hold on to two, or it'll land like this, and usually you'll snag one like that trying to pick it up. So, absolutely recommend picking this up. I mean, it's not like it's not one of the craziest uh, Aqua Spock gun we have, but this thing, uh, this thing is seriously really worth it if you want to run like a decent Aqua Spock gun, especially one that has two magic shields and comes with a really, really crazy ability card. Like, this is just... I could see this being used in the future a lot for people that actually play the TCG. This, honestly, might be the best reason to pick this up. Um, but anyway, guys, that's going to do it for the video. I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. I've got more unboxings lined up right in the back. I'll be unboxing these soon. So stick around, stay tuned, and thanks for watching. See ya!